Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Occasionally, I make a post on the Shotoku Tech channel. I, I was kind of giving a heads up. As soon as I got this in the mail, I grabbed it out of the, out of the box and took a picture of it and posted this on uh, the Shotoku Tech YouTube channel. I resisted buying one of these for a long time, but once you see how Meshtastic 2.6 makes the T-Deck a truly standalone device, I just had to go for it. And I got this cool comment down here. It might seem like an obvious question. Can you make a video comparing the two and your opinions on them? You know, and you could easily say, well, one's got a case and battery included uh, <laughs> and, and be done with it. But I think it goes a little deeper than that. And, and, and so that's why I thought it was a great idea. Yeah, so first of all, let's talk about the T-Deck Plus. I did an unboxing here, and all of my latest Mishtastic 2.6 videos are featuring the T-Deck Plus instead of the T-Deck. And so let's take a closer look at the T-Deck Plus. Okay, so this is the T-Deck Plus. You can see it's a very compact case. It even has like the quarter-inch <laughs> screw mount on the back. I ran this 24 hours straight. The battery held up for that period of time. Now... So you have the battery, you have this very compact case. Let's compare that with the size of the original T-Deck. So you can see they've got it about as compact as you can get it. Um, I don't know how big the battery is, but like I say, I ran it for 24 hours. So that's my use case. If it runs 24 hours, you're gonna, you are got to sleep sometime anyway. Now, the other big noticeable thing is the keys are just flat out larger on the T-Deck Plus, or at least they look that way to me, but it just feels like the keys are bigger. In that case so that's the t-deck plus i imagine it's the same guts plus or minus I, I i think the speaker's rather large to fit into this case so they probably came up with a different speaker but functionality wise they're both mesh tastic 2.6 compatible and as far as range etc i had expect to get the same range out of the t-deck as the t-deck plus this antenna did go all the way the 16 miles away to uh Mount Lemon from my bedroom window. So, yeah, the T-Deck Plus with that antenna stacks up as well as this T-Deck with the 915 megahertz antenna that I'm so accustomed to using with it. Okay, so that's sort of the detailed benefits of getting the T-Deck Plus. But say you don't have either, I would go with the T-Deck Plus. That is, unless you already have a T-Deck or you have a different application, you want to develop a different case, bigger battery, et cetera, then you have an advantage with the T-Deck because it's a lot more flexible. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so I've made videos about the T-Deck case with the GPS and the 18650 battery, and I was using the Alley Cat uh, X front and X back. So that's super huge. Let's take a look at that. Uh, we're going to take a look at all of these cases here, but it's super huge, gives you a lot of room to work with. And I, I took advantage of that in this case, putting an 18650 battery, just hot gluing the stuff to the back and the GPS module to the back, the GPS antenna to the back, all hot glued to it and then sealed it up. And, uh, you know, the 18650 battery gives it plenty of battery life. Yeah, this is the Alley Cat x front and x back case and you could probably make out yeah i got a gps antenna the gps unit and an 18650 battery holder hot glued to the back of this that's why it's just so big you know so if we compare that against this hands down you can see for 20 dollars more you're getting a device that's very compact a lot more portable uh the flexible antenna is uh, probably a nicer feature than the hard fixed antenna um so, but if you want different case options, and that's what we're going to talk about next, the T display by itself. Oh yeah, let me get the patch antenna that it ships with now. Let me put these back here for, for effect. Yeah, the last T deck I bought came with this patch antenna here, <laughs> and that actually got me to the Mount Lemon as well from my bedroom window, 16 miles on this patch antenna. So. I made a video about that. You got to check out my playlist. I have a complete T deck playlist. I have a complete T deck on mesh tastic playlist. All right, so let's check out the other cases. When we talk about Alley Cat, so this is S front and S back. So this is the most compact case that she, the Alley Cat, delivers. And uh, 
let's see, I'm just going to kind of pop this in here. You have to be careful to make sure the switch is in the same position here because this is the switch just pops in and out of that slot and you got to carefully guide the switch into there otherwise you're going to just bust off your switch to so get your usb port lined up and then you just start kind of working it in and we're in check the switch switch works okay now here's the problem you face you see right there this speaker is flush with the back of this so the depth of the bat the depth of the back is all you're going to have room for battery for so there's your that's the s front and s back the other thing i think that this looks like a little tight for the antenna mount it'll probably work i'm not going to go with the s front i'm going to go with the x front and so the x front's just that much deeper okay it's the front of this one but I'm gonna go with the S back. So we'll get something. Yeah, this will still hold this 12 by 90 by 60 battery in the back of this thing. Now, I, I'm almost rethinking that battery because it's just so, it's pretty heavy, it's a brick. We'll take a close look at that in a minute here too. But that thing is a brick. But, so that's the Alley Cat cases. So I do recommend checking out the Alley Cat T-Deck cases. I'm going to go with the uh, X front and S back this time. And we're going to actually check out this 12 millimeter by 60 by 90 battery. You're going to want to look for the links down below. Yeah, there's that battery. It's huge. 8,000 mAh. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the battery. I just got this in and this battery is chonk. Look at this thing. <laughs> okay, it comes with the JST plug. I have to figure out how to attach that. Uh, it's got a tool for, looks like you can swap out the pins with that tool. Look at this thing, that's a chunk. 8,000 mAh battery. Compare that to, <laughs> it's almost as big as the T-Deck Plus. <laughs> so that's why you're gonna need that X front <laughs> from the Alley Cat case, yeah. That's the X front. That thing's just barely going to fit in there. Oh my, barely fits in there. Look at that. Okay. That's that battery. Look for the link down below. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about the GPS thing. I don't have the GPS unit in, but yeah, you have to solder TX to RX and RX to TX. So cross your wires and then there's VCC and ground. And I'm just going to touch a little, uh, basically I'm going to tin some uh, leads and then just touch them onto these pads here there there's actually videos of them removing this i don't like to do anything that destructive but uh anyway so that's the how to add the gps to the case here let me see what we're doing here come on out baby we're all still intact yeah i snapped it in there one time with the memory card in there i almost busted the memory card holder it's a good thing i have a couple spares of these <laughs> Yeah, I have the links to the T-Deck and to the uh, GPS module as well. This is a really small GPS module, 12 by 12 millimeters, and it's going to fit in this little square right on the top of the T-Deck there, in the T-Deck case. And while I was looking at the T-Deck case, I saw this one too, and it, it seemed to have a lot of promising... Uh, uh, I, I, there's things I like about it, but then... After I printed it all out, I realized, yeah, there's not really a provision for an external antenna. Uh, this thing here clashes with the speaker. We're going to take a closer look at all, all of these case options and talk through them. Let's do that right now. I, I want to show you the other case that I was looking at now. At first, I was like, wow, this is going to this is going to work because it's the thing I like the most about this case is it doesn't snap in, so you can just all of the Let's see, get the right, orient the right way here. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. This is the middle. Yeah, so what I like about this, this is the middle piece, and basically it's got a cutout. It doesn't snap anything. So all of the onboard features just have a cutout for them. So you see, yeah, power switch, TF card, and then on this side, you got your reset, your Grove connector, etc. And then the face goes over it like that and that would make it pretty compact so now let's talk about the downfall here 
he had some interesting application with a RFID thing that he was trying to work out. So this is an accessory that would add that RFID capability, but it clashes with the speaker so it doesn't go in all the way. So right away, and I'm not going to pry the speaker off of there. I know you probably can. It seems like it's just got some sort of glue on it. But so trying to glean any additional room out of this case. And they're also using these like cell phone batteries. They're like hard square case batteries. But how to get it to mate up with two pins on the battery in this case isn't clear to me. So this is like a real modders case. Uh, you might, you know, look for the links down below. I'll link to all of this stuff. But so the stock back, that's the stock back. And then this covers the battery compartment. So you can, so right off the top, I don't feel like there's a lot of room for the battery. And I'm confused as to how I would use their battery suggestion. And then you notice also there's no real provision for an external antenna. I was thinking I could build up something on the back of one of these and make a mount for one of the larger antennas. Because I really prefer that. There's not even enough room for the large patch antenna in this case, as far as I, as far as I can imagine, you'd be folding it or twisting it somehow, but there's just barely enough room. I think their original intent was to use the original, the skinny, a quarter inch by, by two and a half, two inch antenna. So, so that case is out of the question. Definitely going with the alley cat and I want the X front, the S back with the 8,000 8, mAh battery, that's going to be bonkers. Yeah, and then let's see, I got that GPS unit coming along too. I'll have that here soon. We'll be uh, doing a build, doing a review of this build once we get it done. Okay, so now that we've got that case answered for, what are we going to do about the GPS? Well, I made this video, Lily Go T Deck and GPS Module Part 2. It's a short video and just demonstrates that you can solder the leads for your GPS module to the pads for the Grove connector. It essentially takes up your Grove connector and uses it for the GPS. Uh, make sure you have a good soldering iron when you're doing that because those pads are real close together, but I did manage to do it. And that's this GPS module here again, and I'm gonna have to flash leads on both the GPS module and solder it to the <laughs> solder it to the Grove connector pads in order to make the TT Go T deck like the T deck plus. It's still even at that. So I've got a bigger battery, custom case. Uh, okay, just go together like that. But you know, for $20 more and not, not too much monkeying around, you can have this all in one unit. It's got the GPS in there and everything. So uh, yeah, if you got a T deck, you're going to need one of these cases, a battery, GPS unit is optional. If you don't have a T-Deck, get the T-Deck Plus. That would be my best recommendation, unless you want to have some sort of custom application, different case, etc. All right, let's go back. So we've got our case, we've got our GPS module, we've got our battery. We can make like the Super T-Deck Plus. All right. So anyway... Check out the links down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Lily Go T-Deck playlist videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.